Welcome. The arrival of this DLC was a complete surprise to me. When rumors started circulating about a possible expansion for God of War, Ragnarok, I envisioned the classic DLC model, a new map, an untold story, and fresh abilities. However, the Game Awards trailer revealed that Santa Monica Studio opted for a more arcade format in the form of a roguelike mode, and best of all, it's free. A decision that caught us all off guard seeing the Cyclops in the trailer, I initially thought it was something similar to the challenge of the gods from God of War 2. In that mode, Kratos faced arenas filled with enemies, meeting specific conditions. However, Valhalla is very different, they chose the infinite loop of roguelikes to offer a more refined combat experience. But don't worry, there's still that classic God of War touch that we all know and love after completing this expansion 100%, I can affirm that it's not just a simple roguelike mode. Despite my initial expectations, Valhalla has much more story than I anticipated, and the gameplay loop is one of the most enjoyable and satisfying I've experienced in years. If you need a reason to return to God of War, Ragnarok, here it is, served on a silver platter. I am Valhalla, Death or Valhalla itself will return you to the shore. Many didn't grasp the essence of the expansion from the trailer, but Valhalla is a new game mode, accessible from the main menu, based on roguelike rules. It operates in runs, independent sessions where you enhance Kratos' skills and face increasingly dangerous enemies, the Valkyrie domains are crucial, aside from providing abundant dominion echoes, they immerse you in conversations that enrich the story of the Winged Warriors. Do not underestimate these missions, as they are the fastest way to obtain large amounts of Dominion Echoes, the upgrade system in Valhalla is clever, with two types of currency allowing you to improve Kratos permanently or temporarily. Chests and secret keys add a strategic element to the game, and the sense of progress is skillfully achieved but the most surprising aspect of this expansion is its rich narrative. Although labeled as roguelike, Valhalla offers more than expected in terms of story. This DLC is almost a love letter to veteran fans, exploring Kratos' past in an unexpected way. It's essential to have completed the main story of God of War, Ragnarok before diving into Valhalla to avoid spoilers, Valhalla offers an additional challenge by allowing Kratos to use three weapons, each building a unique build. Upgrades and synergies between weapons provide a varied and strategic gaming experience. The return to Greece adds a nostalgic touch, with references to key events from previous games that I in summary, God of War, Ragnarok, Valhalla is a gift to fans, offering high-quality content for free. If you enjoy roguelikes, loved Ragnarok, or are a fan of the series, Valhalla is an experience you shouldn't miss. As the devoted, it's a gift from Sony Santa Monica to the fans of the God of War, especially. And here's the surprise because it is an extremely narrative extra, to the extent that there are important spoilers. Valhalla serves as an epilogue to the story of the base game of the base game, primarily for Kratos. Accompanied by Mimir, the protagonist enters Valhalla after finding an invitation at his doorstep. This is where we see Kratos revisiting significant moments of his life and using them to take the next step, even in the present, the justification for the DLC being a roguelike is present in the story. Valhalla reacts to the memories of those who enter and puts a mirror in front of them. In this way, Kratos will have to fight and lose against already known enemies, peeling back layers of his past and completing what he was already doing in God of War Ragnarok, the path of redemption. But any fan of roguelikes will not be too surprised by what the gameplay of this expansion proposes that we have rooms filled with enemies of increasing difficulty, choices of upgrades after achieving certain milestones, and a return to the beginning if we are defeated. In addition, we can use certain currencies earned in the game to make the protagonist a bit stronger the next time he starts a run. There are twists and upgrades that unlock if you accept a disadvantage for a certain number of rooms or a countdown to finish certain enemies that increases their power if we are too slow, the experience is very enjoyable and varied thanks to the combat in God of War, which involves different weapons and the choice of shield and talisman at the beginning of the game. Visiting the Nine Realms in the form of rooms and some additional surprises add variety to the environments.
The duration of the content is relatively short but does not become tiresome due to its scarcity of ideas and, above all, because it contributes to the variety of combat, the key to the expansion lies in the story, without giving away spoilers. What happens in Valhalla is sensitive for two main reasons. It is crucial for what may come after the end of God of War Ragnarok, and it revisits things that have happened not only in the installment from a few years ago that rebooted the franchise but also in the original games of the Ghost of Sparta that I am summer, God of War Ragnarok. Valhalla perfectly fulfills the term, often overused and potentially annoying to some, of being a love letter to the fans. This DLC, even though it's free, enhances the base experience by recalling unique moments and making the overall experience even more memorable. Certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Master thyself. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I must face this. No shame in what just happened. It's all part of the process. Let's go again! 